Oh, I just got hungry. Huh. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry, too. Can handle that with some tea. Curb my app. Right. Um, now, TikTok, a lot of hacks. A lot of hacks, especially when it comes to spring cleaning. But some of this stuff doesn't make any sense. And some of this stuff's actually not safe. And some of it's just not going to work, and it's not worth your time or energy. But one of the things I keep seeing on TikTok is they say, clean your toaster or your air fryer with soap and water. Your toaster or your air fryer with soap and water. Feels dangerous. Um, some of the videos went viral with people washing and rinsing their toaster or their air fryer in the sink. And they just say it's just not safe, right? It's electric stuff. Components are not meant to be submerged underwater. They get damaged. It's going to, it's not yeah. right. If you think putting an, like your, it's like, do you put your hair dryer under the sink to clean it? No. no. Right. Well, don't put your toaster under either. Same, same. Same, same. You ever clean your pillows with fruit? Think about that. <laughs> Cleaning your pillows with fruit. Come, come, what, what? Come again? So, a TikToker soaked pillows in a tub, pillows in a tub with detergent, baking soda, hot water, and salt, then put lemon and oranges in there to keep it smelling good. I mean, the lemon thing I have, I've used lemon to clean before. To clean your counter. Yes. Not to clean your pillowcase. But I'm wondering if, like, why not? Well, it's fine. It's fi- I mean, it's safe, but lemon juice is acidic, and it could damage the fabric or the filling of your actual yeah. pillow. But just, I mean, come on. Think about it. When you see yourself putting that stuff in a tub with a pillow, stop. Yeah. That's not Why you. are you doing that? Too? Like, just use a washing machine. Right, stop, right. Because it's not TikTok. Uh, yeah, I do some weird things, too, on, from TikTok. Spring cleaning. Because you go, oh, wow, that's crazy. I try. Spring cleaning, TikTok. They say mop your walls, walls with the floor mop. All right? Mm. It's not safe. Not safe. Okay. You could hurt yourself. I could hurt myself. Definitely doing it. <laughs> um, so one thing happens is the paint goes away. There's paint loss. And right. The other, it, it can create mildew and mold. I don't know what you know about mildew and mold in the walls. That's not good. No, it's not. You know, even putting your pillows in the tub won't fix that. No. And then finally, spring cleaning, mixing cleaning products. Have you seen they're doing mixing cleaning products for ASMR? These videos. Like which ones? Well, different chemicals, basically. Don't do it. It's not safe. It can be fatal due to all the chemicals and the fumes created when combining chemicals. What makes you think that's a good idea to yeah. take all those and breathe them in? The fumes alone. So I don't know. Those are things you uh, should not be doing for spring cleaning. Well, I fall victim to these all the time. I Is there Robbie one that you just to... feel like you shouldn't admit that you fell victim to? Well, I told Rob we need to get magnesium spray because I heard that you spray it on the bottom of your feet and it, like, changes your life or something. <laughs> I need that because I have plantar fasciitis. Yeah, you might need the magnesium it's spray, too. Well, let me know if you guys that spray your feet. How does it change your life, works. though? That I don't remember. <laughs> it seems but I like can find the TikTok. The due diligence.